Hi, Pre-K. I hope you are all happy and healthy, and most importantly, listening to our parents, just like we would be listening to our teachers in school. Remember, while, we, while school is closed, your parents are a little bit like your teachers right now, so we have to listen to them. Today is a very special day because we are going to be learning a new fancy word, and this fancy word is meteorologist. Now, you might be asking, Ms. Ramon, why are we learning about what a meteorologist is? Or well, we're supposed to be talking about water? Well, a meteorologist is someone who tracks and studies weather. And that has to do with water because a lot of our weather has to do with water. If we think about what are some types of weather we have? Sunny? No, not really doing with water. But what about rain? Snow? sleet, hail, ice. These are all things that happen in our weather that have to do with water. So I would like you all to become meteorologists. This could be a challenge for a week where you can keep track of it, or even in the coming weeks, however long you would like to decide to do it for. I will show you something that Ms. Herman made. It's a little chart. It has seven days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If Miss Herman woke up tomorrow, which would be Saturday, and it was sunny out, I would draw a sun there. If I woke up on Sunday and it was raining, maybe I'd draw a raindrop. And then I would keep track of how many days each type of weather happens in that week. That is something what a meteorologist does. Like if next week you find out that it rained four days out of seven days, that's a lot of information that you have taken in. And now you're studying it just like a meteorologist. Now I'm going to show you a trick on how we can also write this in a different way. We can, number one, draw the pictures inside of our charts, or we could use letters to write them. We could write what the weather is, if you are able to, and with help from your parents. But there's also ways to show different numbers. So if I were to say, hmm, I studied the weather this week and I want to focus on water, and out of seven days, Seven days, it rained. Seven. Across and down from heaven. We can make a seven like this, which is the way we know, or we could make seven raindrops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to show that it rained seven days. Another way that we practice in class is tally marks. You would say there's one day of rain, two days of rain, three days of rain, four days of rain. Remember when we get up to the fifth, we cross it over. That makes five days of rain, six, seven days of rain. You could also do it in circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven or write out the word seven. I just wanted to show you and go over a few more tricks that we had learned on different ways to make numbers. I'm so looking forward to all of your studies and your tr tracking of weather. I miss you, be safe, be happy, be healthy, and keep on studying that weather. We're looking for water signs.